So after about a year of non-stop campaigning to uh, leave the 1951 Refugee Convention, um, I've been to GB News Studios protesting outside about this. We've done uh, numerous, numerous banner drops, got it onto Twitter, copied in GB News pundits non-stop for the last year. You know, practically every day I'm tweeting and copying uh, people on GB News about this, um, this, this issue, which is the only solution. Now, finally, someone has actually said it on, on GB News. Uh, he said it, uh, but he bottled it and wouldn't uh, actually say he campaigns for it. He, see, he said this is the only solution, basically. The real political choice on this issue is do you want border sovereignty or do you want to stay in the 51 Refugee Convention and the 53 uh, Convention? If you want to stay in those conventions, you, I'm afraid you can't have border sovereignty. Why? Because the world is full of people that can have a claim and the private sector, as you might call it, criminal gangs would be another way of describing it, will get them here. I think if you just get your mm. calculator out, how many people in the world, Mark, would qualify? Any, any Chinese Democrat, half the population of uh, yeah. Afghanistan, any, any gay person in sub-Saharan Africa in many states would qualify. Basically, the system is, is broken. And I want a politician, I want Braverman, actually, who I have some sympathy for, to have uh, the clarity to level with the public and say you either stay in these conventions or, you know, you, you, you're, you're, the question of border, border sovereignty is, is gone. Well, uh, we've had, uh, we're undergoing a huge demographic transformation. And there you go, um, Mark Stein changes the subject straight away because he hasn't got the bottle to say that we have to leave the 1951 UN Refugee Convention and this guy who, who mentioned it, he's the leader of the, the SDP, Social Democrat Party. So now, um, they have actually got it in their policy. It is written in their manifesto that the, the SDP want to leave the 1951 Refugee Convention. Also, UKIP has got it in their manifesto. But when you read their manifestos, after it says uh, we must leave the 1951 UN Refugee it, it then says... We will continue to accept true refugees, which means that they will be accepting thousands more refugees for citizenship while we are on course to become a minority in our own homeland. So, ladies and gentlemen, these parties, SDP, Heritage, Reform UK, UKIP, they are just a joke and, and they need to be exposed. I'm on Twitter every day exposing them. Come and join us over there at NHP UK official, join the National Housing Party. We have, we're not scared to say what the solutions are. We've got big uh, big people joining us. You know, we've got um, Paul Rimmer, John Lawrence, myself. We've got someone else high profile we, we can't mention at the moment. So please come and join us. And uh, it's all about local elections. This is what we want to do. One, one election at a time. John's standing on us at the uh, 17th of November coming up. It's a big election for us. So if you can help and you're in the northwest, please get in touch. Thank you.